So I've been doing a couple of videos recently regarding old kind of tech and if it's still relevant. The other day we looked at a Hitachi video camera. I turned around and the box is here. That's why I turned around. And I wanted to know how good, if at all, has cameras improved the last 10 years? Here we go. So, looking back, I was trying to work out why I changed cameras. Is uh, my son. Come on, Scott. How did you know? She's trying to bring this camera, actually. So we've been looking for old cameras, and we found this old video camera, and we've been using it, and it's like really, really good. Yeah. The quality is good. The it has a flip screen. This is flip screen. Mm -hmm. So the screen flips around, so you can record yourself recording yourself. This yeah. is all stuff we need in this modern day, and I had this ten years ago. Yeah. And. <laughs> I, I was using it, and yet I started upgrading my technology. I couldn't really work out why I was upgrading my technology, and if needed to be technology-wise. Then I started thinking why. So this, we're now we're shooting on the Canon SX40HS, which is still available today. There's newer models, the 50, the 60, I think the 60 shoots 4K. And that's where I think things changed. So, 4K, yeah, um, I think that's how things kind of changed and that's where my movie making career went. From filming on Aptics and filming on Canons and filming on the uh, Toshiba one we've seen before and filming on other cameras when the HD first came in. Before that we were shooting VGA and it was good and then HD came and was like, whoa, it's crazy, this is HD quality and it was just well, quite frankly, amazing. And then Apple started making 4K cameras, and then it was like, I think I need to shoot in 4K. So then we went from filming on this, which is full HD, which at the time was absolutely fantastic. Then we started filming on phones, which were 4K. And then the phones got better and better, and then we started on more 4K. And then we moved into like things like GoPros, uh, the 5 was the first to do 4K, then the 6, and then you've got like the 7 now, and then like the 400 million. And even the Fusion, which we've got somewhere else, shoots in 5.7K, which is even more crazier. And that the GoPro wasn't quite good enough, so then we started buying like Lumix cameras, compacts, then we've got the Lumix system cameras with big old lenses and expense, expense, expense. And I kind of wonder why I gave up on this. So I've not seen this footage and obviously I won't watch it until you guys watch it when I upload it live to YouTube to see how much or how bad or how good it has or hasn't been. This camera was something I personally really enjoyed using. I made lots of successful videos with it and I had a very successful YouTube series with it as well. So I do know how to use this camera I am looking forward to watching back and I do miss this camera and I kind of wonder if I should have just kept on filming with this particular camera. I find bridge cameras to be very good in general. It's great having that zoom. The zoom is phenomenal. 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 I will try and demonstrate that zoom about um, now. So as you can see, the zoom on it is absolutely fantastic and that's really helpful. Not so much for videoing because it's kind of too wide, but I find the video quality on this to be superb, it's full HD. In fact, Canon don't really make that many 4K cameras, they really just kind of stuck to the HD side of things. They make very good production 8K cameras, so that's always good to know and they've been really good. 
So most vloggers move. That's one of the skills of being a human, you can move, it's really handy. And I'm going to move now, using the camera, to see what it's like as a vlogger device. So I've literally spent thousands of pounds on cameras and stuff recently, trying to, what's this little boy up to? Trying to get the perfect kind of vlogging setup. And I kind of feel like I've dropped a bit of a ball here because I think this was good enough already. Oh, look at this little vlogger here. <laughs> is this for Scott's toy reviews? Yeah. Oh. Is it the most successful YouTube channel ever? Yeah. That's good to hear. <laughs> and how is the Hitachi HD camera? Um, it's doing okay. It's doing okay. Do you prefer Hitachi HD camera or GoPro? Um, GoPro. GoPro. GoPro, like, man. Like, you can do it like from the back to the front. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the screen turns as well, which is always handy. You could do like your own kind of vlog. <laughs> see, now you can see me. <laughs> let's go to the movies. Let's go to the stars. <laughs> you can easily see it. Yeah. So, as you can see there, it's obviously great for vlogging. Mind you, that little camera before was really good for vlogging as well. So, do I feel like I dropped the ball somewhere? Yeah, because I think when we look back on the quality here, it's going to be like more than good enough for what I needed it for. So, will I start shooting just on this? Probably not, because I do like the 4K. I think when my 4K cameras work fantastic, they do work fantastic. It must be absolutely stellar. But I remember this being really good on, on HD as well and I've always claimed good HD is really really good oh look hello. hello everybody so this is the camera I'm trying to sell but I think a little boy likes it quite a bit Ooh. what's good about it <laughs> I can turn it over me yeah you can do selfies like a YouTube superstar so there we go, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed, hope you've enjoyed the look back on this camera. Would I recommend it? 100%. Great camera, great, great camera. Really, really good. My friend's got the SX50S and that's like even better. But uh, it depends if you want to use that zoom, which you've seen pr pr previously on the, on the old video before. The zoom is absolutely fantastic. The stabilization's good, it's a good frame, it's a good picture, it's a good kind of every kind of all round camera. I really like bridge cameras and would highly, highly recommend it. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you soon. Bye!